Okay, for this installment of the blog, I thought I'd share my garden with you. <clears throat> and get to know each other a little bit better. So I'm going on a binge now. I want to try and grow and hunt and fish as much of my, uh, my own food as I can. And uh, I think this is a good start. A lot of different beans and stuff here. Well, a couple different kinds, but it's it's gonna make a lot of these beans. Todd's coming out here. Got our carrots. Broccoli and kale here. Kale is just huge and lush. Broccoli is uh, finally coming in strong. Got some beets here, a beet mix. Uh, a lot of onions. Well, not a lot, just a little bit of onions. More zucchini here. Big old zucchini plant. And I have honeydew and cantaloupes coming in here. The vines are just going crazy. Ow. There's a little zucchini there. There's the little guy. But I've got way bigger than that. I'm gonna find you a, a melon. They are in here. Goes all over the place though, so maybe another time. And I got a few rows of different lettuces and spinach. Some spinach coming in at the last minute here. Chinese cabbage, stuff like that. A couple aloe plants here. Got to have them off to the side because they don't like as much water as the rest of all this stuff. Here's my watermelon plant. He is just going crazy. Took a while to get established. I was a little scared. But he's doing good. And this is my prize banana squash and zucchini bush. Yes, bush. Let's see what I got here. So this is one of the banana squash. Pretty big guy here. Oh, jeez. This, you see they're all over back here. Time to harvest some. This is a zucchini. You see it's a zucchini grow. Pretty big here. This is like uh, 14 inches long. Some more zucchini. Pretty big guys here. All throughout there. Got some different herbs and spices here. Cilantro, a couple types of basil. German chamomile that almost didn't make it, but it's coming through good now. Corn. Corn. Live in a little mountain town, but there's a freeway on ramp kind of near here, so it's getting on 5 o'clock. People are getting off work, so getting a lot of traffic about now. Some more. Some more beans and beets here. Some more okra. These eggplant are taking a long time to grow and get established. I really want these to grow. These are my strawberries. A couple different kinds of strawberries here. These are finally ready to pick. That's a another reason I wanted to get this video made. I, I kind of wanted to do this the whole time I was starting the garden and share it with you, but I just got so busy and the garden grew so fast. These are my gourds. They're like as tall as me now, these gourd plants. Thought I'd get a few to use at the village for teaching. These are the tomatoes. Uh, about four feet tall, these bushes here. 
couple different kinds. Here's the peppers. Got some different bell pepper and stuff coming in here. This is my biggest okra plant. First one I planted and I thought I'd grow a bunch more. I got these bell peppers. And this one's still, yeah, there's some more bell pepper. These are like completely shading out the pepper plants. Some more bell pepper. And this guy's an Anaheim pepper. He's doing really good. Like, I'm going to make chili rellenos with him. Where the little lady is, anyway. Yep. Tomato plants are doing insane. They're so bushy, like, I can't even find the tomatoes. But, got this big green one here. They're coming. They're coming. They're up to the stomach. Then I got this apple tree here. We're really getting going. Got a lot. I already had one branch like fall off under its own weight. And uh, it's not all organic seeds, but I used mostly organic soil. We had like half a dozen bags of Miracle Grow laying around. But for this, like 800 square feet isn't much. The rest was all organic soil, no pesticides ever, all organic fertilizer, mostly fish emulsion and guano, and then vitamin B12, and I, then I used some like zinc and iron stuff. And it's going pretty good, I mean, see how high up this is on my body. I mean, these tomato plants, they didn't even. I mean, no signs of a worm or bite hole or anything like that. I need to do a little bit more weeding, but when everything gets big, it kind of shades out all the weeds. I just let this patch grow and all this stuff. It looks like henbit. It's in the mint family. It's growing up, and uh, so I may even be able to use that. plant just kind of sprouted out there so yeah probably four or five different types of lettuces and of course kale because it's a complete protein that's why I have that whole massive row of kale you know we're gonna make kale chips kale smoothies we're gonna dry stuff pickle stuff jar stuff um, yeah now it's time for me to learn more and get past just the, like the survival sun drying on the string at the village and get into all this homesteading stuff and Getting some out-of-state tags for Alaska here. I got a, a new Remington R25 308 to try and get some game with. Students don't uh, students don't know that's coming, but we're gonna bring them whatever we get to process. They'll get some, and I'll bring uh, at least half the carcass home here. Fly it out, <clears throat> fill a freezer. I'm gonna try and do a bunch of quail hunting locally. Fill the freezer with some white meat too. So I figure I'll at least get a few months of veggies out of this garden. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty big. It's about 30 by 30 or so, roughly. And you can see it's packed jam full of uh, edibles and stuff. Got a little bit of se uh, seasoning, but it's pretty much all edibles. And I'm gonna put in a little bit more garlic and a couple more things too as like a late season plant. Um, once I harvest a bunch of this. So man, you guys got recipes for giant squash and some of these apples. And you know what, if anybody knows what kind of apple this tree is, apple tree this is. It's not very tall, it's only, it's only about 12 feet. The apples have never turned fully red, but I've only just now started tending this tree. So. That would be great. Some pickling recipes, some jarring and jarring recipes that, uh, yeah, feel free to shoot them in. Uh, Thomas at CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com. Always oh, happy to hear from stuff like this. And man, I don't have any kids, but uh, this garden is uh, awesome. I can see why people garden. Like, <laughs> I'm kind of a young single guy, but I feel so 
so proud of everything that's growing here and so excited to watch it and yeah it's pretty fun it's not that much work you know you clear the soil pretty quickly kind of chop it up add some uh, some growing soil in there and I used to cut fire lines so scraping this up was no big deal and uh, within two days it was ready to plant and then it's just dragging your pick in rows and sprinkling the seeds behind it and watering it. Now our water bill's definitely gone up because this is a big area to water, but food bill's gonna go down. And just so you know, it used to look like this. <laughs> this is the rest of the yard that I never planted. I guess I can do like a whole 2,000 square feet. <laughs> this be a farmer, but I may have to hire that out. <laughs> So yeah, if you really, if you have even just any small space available by your house, front yard, side yard, whatever, just even if it's just enough, like one bag of soil and one pack of seeds, you know, just do I see it? That's your Liberty Garden. Um, it's kind of like when you first open that savings account, put your first five bucks away, you get hooked, and then you just save and save and save. Once you plant your first seed, it starts to grow it's gonna get you and you're gonna want to grow more and more and if you're at a house whether you own or rent um, man there's no reason not to do this I just feel like everybody should have a little something like this in their in their yard and even if it's just a small patch one row of okra something like this real short you know that won't be a lot to water and um, you can use like wastewater from that from your dishes or whatever and just uh, yeah grow something grow something grow something it's freaking it's awesome. Uh, yeah, I already brought some stuff up to the students and fed them. I'm giving like vegetables to my mom and stuff from my garden. Uh, it's great. I feel like, and now when I talk with people, now I'm usually talking with much older people about gardening, but I love uh, talking about gardening uh, to people. Uh, it's a great, great new hobby. You'll get yourself in some new forums. It's a real good, honest crowd.